Okay, so let's stay with one of our favorite topics, the golden ratio and, and five, five, five. That's what we're talking about today. Uh, we've got a really cool graphic, which is a, another Scott original. And um, yeah, it's got to do with like a, a pentagon being drawn around a circle, basically, Scott, isn't it? Yeah, so if you look at the, uh, the, the circle, it has a radius of 0.5 or a diameter of one. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a pentagon is uh, circumscribed about the circle. Uh, radius of the pentagon is this series of fives. And I, I real I, I expressed it this way because this pattern popped out at me. Um, and I think it's kind of remarkable that this this can be expressed with all all numeral fives. And, and so um, this this number is 0.5 or one half times five raised to the power of 0.5. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but if you raise something to the power of 0.5, it's equivalent to taking the square root of that number. Mm. So this could be read as one half times the square root of five minus 0.5 or minus one half. And mm. if you put that in your calculator, you get one over the golden ratio or approximately 0 0.618. Mm. And uh, that alone is pretty amazing. I think that you can express the one over the golden ratio just using the numeral five with these different operators. And yeah. also if, if you want to get the full golden ratio, you can just um, add 0.5 at the end of this equation, which I show at the bottom of the graphic. Mm -hmm. And so you've got these two aspects of the golden ratio, 1.618 and 0 0.618. And, you know, the reciprocals of each other. And so it's all, it's all expressible through, through the numeral five. And how beautiful is that? When, when you think about the Pentagon and the pentagram are really the, the poster children of the golden ratio, they're, they're the they're exp be most beautiful expressions of that. And, and it's a five-sided figure, you know, and we're using the numeral five here uh, completely to express this, um, this beautiful ratio. And it, it just kind of blows my mind. And, and, you know, you kind of have to little, know a little bit about math um, to to appreciate this, but I think there's a lot of aesthetic beauty here. It's not it's not overwhelming in what you have to know. You just have to really know that um, a square root is raising something to the power of zero point five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And th does that land on you, Jeff, or is this a little too? Yeah, totally. Too I mean, sorry, high? a square root is raising something to the power of point five, isn't it? Yeah, or yeah. or you could say I one half. I get you. I get yeah. you. And you know what I love about this graphic, you know, is like I know my personal default settings with geometry is like I'm very much tapped into the visual side of it. So like when you do the diagram and I see the radius there is 0. 0.5, I can then go, oh, yeah, I see instantly what the golden ratio is there, what the, the 0. 0.618 is. I can see that correspondence perfectly, instantly, when I look at the shape, the circle and the pentagon. You know? That's why I think geometry is so accessible to people because you you, you just, you see it and, get and, it. and you comprehend it. Yeah. Whereas yeah. if you show the algebraic representation, it, it requires explanation and, 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 you know, it, it, like you know, it doesn't land on you right away. Um, yeah. But I think when you see all these fives, it has a, you know, rep digit thing going for it. And so you, you recognize, well, there's a cool pattern happening here, you know. That's exactly right. And for people who don't, I don't warm to the, the mathematical expression of geometry as easily as, say, the visual representation of the shapes, you know, but but I'm absolutely enjoying um, leaning into that and actually becoming a little bit more proficient, you know, and what I love about this diagram is for somebody like me, I can actually, I have to run it a few times, but when I run the formula in algebra there, um, the fives, you know, I kind of go, oh my God, I totally see what you're doing. You know, even today, I didn't know that like, if you raise something to the power of 0.5, that it's the same as the square root. You well, know? if you think about it, let's say you're taking two times two, right? It's like yeah. two, the power of one, which just means mm -hmm. two times, it's just two yeah. times two to the power of one. And, and if you add the exponents, you get two to the, the second power, which yeah. is two yeah, squared. Yeah. And that's four, right? So yeah. if you take something raised to the power of one half times something raised to the power of one half, you add the exponents and you get one. Yeah, I so know. So five raised to the power of 0. 0.5 times five raised to the power of 0. 0.5 is five raised to the power of one. Yeah. So that's yeah. five. Yeah. 
so, so, so it's five all raised, five. Does that make sense? Like five raised to the power of one half is the square root of five. Yes, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, totally. But um, well, and actually, when I when I go just go through the simple mathematical formula you've done there. It's like, that's the sort of entry level mathematics I need to start at, Scott. Don't be giving me these hard equations, you know. No, this, is, but, this is very, very simple. But, but there's a beauty it, in even the mathematical expression of it. You I know? think there's a and, sort of unrecognized pattern here that I've hit on. Yeah, yeah. With all the fives. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. I love it, you know. And so isn't it kind of cool that like there's different ways of like understanding geometry like you can look at it through a few different lenses you know one is kind of qualitative i suppose you almost feel the shapes you know um and then just drawing the shapes of geometry is an art almost you know and then you've got a more logical approach which is like the mathematical side of it as well you know but it it's kind of imbued with the same underlying beauty somehow you know like I, that's what I get from you. That's what you've been helping me learn about, you know, because I used to be a bit like I would dismiss the mathematical. I'd be like, oh, boring, you know, but you've actually helped me change my um, opinion of that, actually, which I quite like. Well, you know? yeah. And so geometry has like three aspects. It's the sacred qualitative aspect that we love. Mm -hmm. It has the mathematical aspect that I, I've always loved and, and you're forming to. It also mm -hmm. has the quantitative aspect where you use the geometry to do something practical in the world, mm -hmm. like design a building or a car a or whatever. Um, yeah. And normally we think of these things as totally separate. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you have to recognize that it's all geometry and it depends yeah. on your perspective on it. That's all. Yeah. You and know? it's kind of like if you have the golden ratio you know, move through a beautiful pattern, you know, drawn out by the planet Venus, for example, you know, or you have the little formula you've shown us today in this graphic, or you have like the shape of a standard credit card, right? They all seem like very divergent things. You're like, well, what's the connection? But yet they're all connected by the golden ratio, you know? And so really they're all actually imbued with the same kind of archetypal qualities, which to me, is beauty essentially you know and I, I know we could probably talk about truth and goodness they're probably there too but there's just a beauty to the golden ratio that's what hits me most about it you know yeah and at the same time it, there's a profound truth a profound mathematical truth to it yeah that you yeah. see here in this graphic a little bit yeah and 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 but they're just different perceptual shifts is what i'm trying to say yeah it's, it's all there but it just depends on how you look at it and what you're going to get, take from it. 